So as long as you keep it maintenance and clean, it'll last you for a long time, you know. So look at this nonstick egg I'm putting in here so it's not burning off. And you can see it's a little hot on the bottom, but it's holding up. Very simple. All right, today we're going to bring a pan to cook. And this is a perfect pan if you're going to start using it for nonstick products. So if you're going to start using for eggs or any kind of cheese or anything pretty much you can do on this pan. So today we put it together, including a flathead just to put it all together. It has a space, if you guys can notice, glass. Uh, right now we're going to cure it. So out of the box, we end up washing it, of course. We wash the system. And then what we're going to do, we're going to cure the system, all right? So curing it, we're going to do olive oil. I always do olive oil, run it a little bit. I have that low heat right now, as you can see, low heat, and then we're gonna prepare and start using it. So that's what you gotta do when you actually get it out of the box because uh, out of the manufacturer, there's dust, there's particles and certain things. So make sure you cure before using it. So let's go put it together and, and let's see how it works. Low heat, we put a little olive oil, olive oil in here. We're gonna rub it all around. I'm gonna let it burn off too, all right? So very simple to start it off first, all right? And this is a non-stick pan, so. All right, now that we've burned the excessive oil that we had, I wanna show you the back end. Look at the back. This is to concentrate uh, the heat, all right? So it could uh, heat up a little quicker, right? So I like that part of it. So we're gonna go ahead and run it, and then we'll start cooking something. So the best thing I like, I like the handle. It has a great grip, all right? Now, this is not dishwasher safe, all right? Just make sure you don't put this in there. No, I would recommend you not put the, the uh, Pam also dishwasher. Just make sure you wash it by hand. Um, sometimes they tend to start, you know, removing some of the paint chips and other stuff. So just make sure you don't want run it through the washer. Also, the screws are non-stainable, so just make sure that you don't wet them too much. Um, just keep it clean as much as you can. Oil it up once in a while. The Pam is pretty awesome. Easy to set up, easy to use, including the tools. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.